Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Push Bike Surfer. Today I am on Kudaka Island, which is about 10 miles east of the main island of Okinawa, and I'm going to ride around the whole island today. So the circumference of this island is only about seven kilometers in total. So it's not gonna take me too long, but I wanna show you some cool spots on this very remote island. There's not a lot here. Um, there's only a few shops that you can eat at. There's a place to rent a bike and there's a lot of beaches to go and visit. So let's ride around and see what it has to offer. This dirt road is gonna take me to the very end of the island. And where I started was in about the middle. So once I reach the end of this road, I'm at the end of the island. That didn't take me much longer than, gosh, 10 minutes. At tops, 10 minutes. And uh, this view is just insane. I mean, it's so remote and it's kind of odd seeing the big island of Okinawa in the background right there. Um, Cause this is just a tiny little island, but it's so beautiful. So I have to head back down this road, cut in, and then it's another like two kilometers till the main part of town. But I'll show you some cool stops along the way. Now I'm on a nice little walking path you can take towards, this is the northwest side of the island. And there's a few little like picnic areas. Here's one right here. This walking path is so nice. Woo. Look at this view. I was just, I was just up there. You know, it's not too far so peaceful so fun and it'd be really cool to hop in the water actually and do some snorkeling around here i'm sure it's really beautiful and and pretty untouched i could imagine and this is one of the main roads to get us back to the main part of town so it's all right there's not a lot of terrain to show you guys i mean there's random gravel roads here and there that take me to little coves but yeah, there's not, this, this island's really not that big. So it's just kind of fun for me to be able to say that I biked around an island because I do plan on doing this more and more and seeing how many islands I can bike around. So this is a very achievable one for me at the moment. I can bike around this island. Yeah, sure, let's just take this road. Why not? Why the heck not? I'm not far from done, and I just started this ride about 15, 20 minutes ago. So, we'll be done here shortly. I'm about to approach the main part of town. I'll stop it where INA and I had some lunch, because they had a really good Okinawa soba, and uh, uh, the Japanese name is blanking my mind, but the ginger pork, like ginger pork stir fry, so good. That place has such good food. This is a port here where, uh, actually no, our boat went into that port over there, but this looks like a fishing boat specific port where they have nets all lined out and actually there's nets on this jetty here too, but a bunch of fishing boats in here. And right behind that fishing port is one of the four or five places to eat 
on this island. Rummy's Cafe, Rumi's Cafe. It's cute, cute little spot. This is the little spot that Aine and I ate at. Let's see if I can get my heat gun right. Hamashimu, Hamashimu. I think that's how you say that. Cute little cafe, Okinawa style building. I feel like I'm whispering because this whole island is just so quiet and peaceful. And I love the Okinawan styled houses. Here, I'll show you an Okinawan styled house. And actually I learned this by researching. And this is just from what I researched, but this is a traditional Okinawan styled fence where they have limestone and trees covering the house because when typhoons roll through, this is the natural materials that they had to prevent the typhoon from destroying their house. So they would use this limestone and a bunch of these trees that have really strong trunks and branches and really thick leaves, as you can see, to protect the house from all the wind or the debris that was flying around. Doesn't look like anybody's living in this house, so I'll show it to you, but... Yeah, you can kind of get an idea of what it's surrounding. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. This is where you can buy some ice cream and rent a bike. Another place to rent some bikes. Tokujin. Tokujin? I don't know, maybe that's a restaurant. Yeah, that's the main part of town. There's a couple places to eat and a few places to rent some bikes. And I think there was a hotel I saw as well, or a little bed and breakfast. Woo! Oh. I'm biking back to where I started. I've already come down from the north part, down the west, hit that south part where the main part of town was, which I just showed you. And now I'm biking back up the east side of the island and uh, I'll meet Aine at the beach. So I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos in the future, hit the subscribe button. I'll actually post a link to this route on Strava in my bio if you wanna see this route, where this island was, kind of the details of the ride. All that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.